I've got more sillies today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, my name is Lizzie and I am a Disney plush collector from the UK. So happy Friday, I hope you've all had a great week. I am here with another instalment of my Sully collection and this time it is my small plushes. Now I have got two mediums to show you and I will explain why in a moment. But I actually think I've got more smalls than I did mediums or large plushes. So this might be a slightly longer video than it has been but I will try and get through them quickly for you. So today I'm not wearing my spirit jersey because to be honest it's really warm. I'm wearing my Monsters University t-shirt that I got from Disney's California Adventure. I really love it. I love this grey material. I've got quite a few t-shirts in this material. I just find it's really breathable and it's really warm today. So let's get into this video. So the first medium I mentioned in my last video. So if you didn't see the medium sullies, I will leave a card up above. But I said that I had just been sent one, but it hadn't actually arrived. So this was sent to me by my friend on Instagram, Liz. She messaged me and she said, I'm getting rid of this sully. Do you have him? If you don't, you can just pay postage and you can have him. I would rather him go to a loving home. So I said, yes, please. I don't have this one. It is similar to a couple of Sully's I've got, but I don't have him in this outfit. And it's the Monsters University Sully. So this is very similar to the one that Joe won me in Thought Park that I showed you in last month's video. But I don't have any where he's wearing this jacket. So I was really grateful to Liz for sending this to me. I really love him. He's a good size. He sits down independently. He's got a little bit of movement and I think he's got a cheeky little face and there's not much fur on him either. So that's my first medium that I'm going to show you. And then my boyfriend Joe let me borrow some of his Sully plushes for this video as our Sully collection is combined but it's split across two houses. We have some of the same plushes but these ones are ones that I don't have in my collection. So the first one was actually a Christmas gift from me to him one year and this is the medium Sully plush from the Disney store. I actually think the face has changed now since I bought this one so I really think I should buy my own. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments if you think I deserve to treat myself to a medium Sully. But this one is Joe's. He's got a little tuft of hair up here which I just find hilarious he's really fluffy he's basically just the smaller version of the large one that I showed you in my large Sully plush collection video so if you haven't seen that I will leave a card up above to that video as well but this one is actually Joe's so he's having a little sleepover at mine at the moment and then in a couple of days he's going back home so thank you for joining me for this video Sully and now I'm going to go on to my actual small plushes but I'm going to start with the ones that have come from Joe's so so the first one was from Disney's California Adventure. I regret not getting my own, but there's a little clip in the vlog of Joe deciding which one he wanted out of all of the Sullys in the store. But this is a small Sully from Disney's California Adventure. It doesn't look much like Sully at all. I love that the teeth are sticking out. He's really, really cute. I haven't seen him for sale anywhere else. We looked everywhere for Sullys on that trip and we only found it in Bing Bong's store, I believe, on Pixar Pier and he bought one I think it was quite reasonable it was maybe about $12 something like that and this one stays at Joe's I think he's quite podgy for a Sully they don't usually look this hench and he's got like a really strange spine going on that Sully doesn't usually have so he's a very strange plush but I'm really glad that we got him I'm just regretting that I didn't get one as well so if you want one like this Disney's California Adventure Joe why did you do this <laughs> so now there's two stuck together because he displays them like this so he's used the pin of the Sully plush from Tokyo to attach to this one so this is a plush keyring from the Disney store he hangs it on his wardrobe with this 
I bought that for him, I don't know how many years ago, but it didn't cost very much, maybe like five pounds. And then this one was from Tokyo, it's a plush keychain. If you haven't seen my own plush keychains, I will leave a card above to my Duffy and Friends video because I did collect quite a few of these on that trip. But I didn't get this Sully because I'm really stupid. I really love this one because it's got a lot of detail. Like they've actually given him plastic eyes and the nose. They've given him fingernails and toenails. They've made sure that his belly is a different type of fabric to his fur. I just think so much detail went into this one considering it's so small. And it didn't cost very much at all because Tokyo plushes don't. And I really regret not getting my own. And then the final one actually stays in Joe's car for good luck and again it's from Tokyo Disneyland. There was a ride in Tokyo Disneyland called Monsters Inc Ride and Go Seek so they've got a store with all kinds of Monsters Inc merchandise in. We kind of went wild, it's where the Sully plush is that's in my intro that I've always regretted not buying. So this is the first keychain he got and this is the one that lives in his car. So this is like a lying down slash flying Sully. Whilst this one looks like real fur because they've put the purple in the blue, this one actually has embroidered purple spots which I actually really like as well. So again they've made sure his face is different to his fur and he's got plastic eyes and like a bean nose and I just really love the detail that they put into their plushes over there and I think this one is my favourite out of the two because he's got a really cheeky grin on his face with his little teeth sticking out and I just love him. So those ones are all of Joe's but we're counting them as mine for this video and we've still got quite a few down on the floor by me to show you. So I should probably mention to do this video has caused an awful lot of disruption to my Sully plush collection. As you know it's in like a little mountain in the corner. I was planning to redo it anyway today. I'm going to have a little move around of my plushes on this glorious Sunday afternoon that I could be outside. I'm going to be rearranging my plushes but I had planned to do this today so I thought it would be good to film the video at the same time but it has caused so much mess. There is just a massive gap in my collection right now. I'm going to put in a little time lapse of me taking them all away but that just shows how many of those plushes were small plushes. So let's get into it. The first one is from Tokyo Disney Resort because it wasn't actually in the parks it was in like a little supermarket by the parks it came with a bottle of milk tea which my dad drank and it's this Sully in this plastic bottle I know you can get it out by pulling this but honestly I just really love it in the bottle so I keep it in the bottle so you've got a really lovely Sully who is sat down inside the bottle and he's not very detailed but he didn't cost very much. I think he probably cost about £5 and that was with a drink that would be like one or two pound. So I was really really glad to get this plush and I was glad that dad would drink the tea because I didn't want to just waste it for the sake of getting Sully. I also had a mic but sorry Mike I only really care about Soleil so this was from the Tokyo Disney Resort and then you've seen this guy before but this is my Sully Wishable so if you haven't seen my Disney Wishables collection I will leave a card up above but this is from the Monsters Inc Mike and Sully to the Rescue ride in Disney's California Adventure he is the completer so he was sold separately which meant that I was guaranteed to get him and I just absolutely love him. He's actually really really fluffy, there's not many wishables that are like super fluffy so I really love that they made Sully fluffy and I just absolutely adore him. And then we've got the Sully Tiny Big Feet. This was sold by the Disney Store. They were kind of like how some Sums were a fad and then you Foofies were a fad and then it was Tiny Big Feet. I have loads of these. I am planning to bring you a full Tiny Big Feet collection because I have so many of them. It's just finding the time to fit it into my schedule. With all of the monthly videos I already do, it doesn't leave me a lot of room to do like the odd random video but I really really love this one. Joe actually has one as well and I just think he's adorable and I can't wait to show you all of the ones I have but I think I did a video on the Toy Story ones so if you're interested in seeing a very old video with a much younger Lizzie I will leave a card to that as well. 
I should also say that that matches like my medium big feet and my large big feet as well. And then these two you will have seen in my Sum Sum collection videos as well. So I've got a regular Sully. I believe I had to get this one on eBay because he's sold out in the Disney store, but that's okay. And then I've got Monsters Inc. Sully as well, which I got from the Disney store. And I know I got Joe one of these as well. So he's in a little MU jacket and you just have to get both. I'm sorry, but if you don't get both, then you're missing out because they are quite different. I mean, they gave him hair in this one to make him look younger and I just absolutely love that. And then we've got a Posh Paws. Posh Paws also used to make some sums for the UK. They were sold in Clinton's, but they also made these Choose Your Friend plushes, I believe they were called. I was gifted some, but not this Sully, so I got this one from Amazon. So this is the Posh Paws Sully. He's got really sparkly eyes that are plastic. His horns are sparkly as well. And then he's got really fluffy fur, and I just absolutely love him. I think he was about seven pound as well as selling them on Amazon they used to be sold in supermarkets as well but I couldn't find him in the flesh anywhere so I had to get him on Amazon and then this one is a Disneyland Paris item that I had been looking forward to buying on my birthday trip last year that got cancelled and then my good friends Joe and Andy at Park Pioneer managed to go to the parks in August I believe and they bought it back as a present for me. So this is a Sully phone holder so the premise is you put the phone here and he like hugs it and you can put your charging lead in there. But honestly, I just love to sit it in the mountain with like a plush sat on it sometimes. So I think I might put this one in there because he tends to get lost a lot. Like I really struggled to find him. So I can just hold him like that. And I absolutely love this. I'd wanted it for so long and it was going to be one of the first things I bought on that trip. So thank you, Joe and Andy, for this. So that's my little big feet in there. Then I've got a couple more Disneyland Paris plushes. I don't know where all of these plushes are from, so I'm trying to group them as best I can. This one I bought, I think, or did Joe buy it? This might have been a present from Joe on one of my birthday trips, but I'm not 100% sure. But this is the Monsters University Sully. He's got his Uzma Kappa t-shirt on. My dad actually has one as well that's in a lot better condition than mine because he is in my bed a lot, so he's just really worn. But I absolutely love him. He's one of my favourite Sully plushes. I think if you asked me to rank them all, he would be quite high up in the ranking. So this one is from Disneyland Paris. You can see his worn little tag there. Then the next one is also from Disneyland Paris and I can remember this because I was actually vlogging. So it would have been the 2019 birthday trip. I was vlogging in the like homeware store and then Joe appeared with this grabby plush that he'd surprised me with for my birthday. So I always leave this sloth in his arms because I think it looks absolutely adorable like that. But the premise is that you can put him around your arm or on your bag or something. I just think he looks really cute holding this sloth because I also collect sloth plushes. But he is a Disney Parks plush, so he's not exclusive to Disneyland Paris. I know they do other characters as well, but the only one I would really want as well as Sully is a red Minnie Mouse for my car, and I don't think they do Minnie. And then I've just got a random assortment of plushes, I think. This one was from the Disney store, judging by the tag, and it's the emoji plush. So you've got him smiling on one side and screaming on the other. I really love these plushes. I've also got a Minnie Mouse one that lives in my car. He does get lost from time to time because of how small he is, but when I rearrange them, I'm going to do it a little bit better. So this is my emoji plush. And then this one I found in my dad's office when we were moving house last year and I asked if I could have it and he said yes. It used to be mine anyway, so I don't know why I asked, but this was a Robinson's plush, the squash. You used to be able to buy so many bottles and then you could send off for a plush. So I've got this little Sully plush. He's got Velcro on both hands, but it's the same piece of Velcro, which makes me think he used to have a scream canister that he could hold in his hands, but I really can't even remember owning this. So I'm not sure what he had, but I absolutely love him. Again, I think he's one of my favorites. He would be in my top 10 for sure, if not my top five. 
And then we've got a smaller one of the Thought Park plush that looks like the Monsters University one. I got this one from Asda on a trip to Cornwall to see my granddad. So he was £5 in Asda because they started selling these. Again, I think these might be made by Posh Paws, but I'm not 100% sure because it never says on the tag. It only says where you like got it from. So this one says Asda and the Thought Park one has a tag that basically says the company that supplies those teddy grabbers. This one was definitely from Asda and they might still sell them just not the Sully maybe. I've definitely seen the princess ones and the Toy Story ones. And then I got this one off the internet expecting it to be like a Cuddly's and bigger but I wasn't disappointed when it came. This is a sleeping Sully so I think he cost me about 10-15 pound with shipping which wasn't terrible from Japan. I absolutely love him. I wish I could get him in a bigger size. I'm sure if I went on the internet now and searched for Sully plushes, I could buy thousands more. But I won't do that, obviously, because money. But I would like to grow my Sully collection more because I can't believe I've managed to show you all of my plushes in just three videos. And then this one, I think I bought from my friend Kelly. It looks like it's a Disney Store plush because it says made exclusively for the Walt Disney Company on the tag. But it's this Sully, it's quite an old one, so I think it was like circa 2001. So I think it's from around 2001. I really love this plush, it doesn't look like Sully at all, but as you know from these videos, not many of them do. And again, I have like three different friends who will always message me if they are getting rid of a Sully and they want me to rehome him, and I am always grateful to rehome them. This next one is definitely from Kelly and it's a fairy plush. So like with the Robinsons ones, if you bought washing up liquid, you could collect tokens from the bottles and send off for this plush. So this is the fairy plush. I don't remember ever having this one myself because as you've seen from my earlier videos, I don't get rid of my Sullies. So I'm really glad that Kelly let me take this one because I don't know why I didn't have this in the first place. Again, he doesn't look very much like Sully but he's got like real plastic eyes instead of being like embroidered and I just think he's really really cute. Two left, this was a Christmas gift from my friend Lucy. Lucy is the one who I got some of my mediums from and what she did was she was going to give me one of her Sullies but she wanted to make it Christmassy so she put a Santa outfit on him and I absolutely love it. I don't have this plush either so it was a real win. Again, it's a Disney Store plush. It's quite an old Disney Store plush, so I think it's from around the time Monsters Inc. came out. And I just love that I've got my own Christmas Sully now, as there is a Christmas Sully in Disneyland Paris that I don't have, and I really, really need to get my hands on it. So if I do manage to at some point, then I will need to do an updated Sully collection. But the good thing about these videos is that for a few months, I'm going to be showing you figures and lounge flies and pins. So if I accumulate more plushes, Plushes in that time then I can just put them all together in another video but this is my little Christmas Sully and then the final Sully again kind of ended up with my dad and I was like why have you got my Sully this is a Spin Master plush I don't know anything about Spin Master but I think it was from like the entertainer or something or a teddy grabber and it is this Sully plush so he's wearing an Uzma Kappa t-shirt again but it's a bit like the new emos where it's not actually a removable t-shirt it's like a embroidered onto him so it's not as good as the Disneyland Paris plush but I still really really love it and he's got this tuft of hair which I really love to do with the Monsters University plushes I don't understand it but I really love it so that is my final small plush for you like I said, I've got way more small than medium and large plushes and this is a much longer video than I was anticipating, so let's wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching this Sully Collection video. This is all of the plush I currently own, but I am trying to get some more at the moment. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments which one was your favourite. And I will see you guys on Tuesday for my June favourites. Have a great weekend and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye guys!